Hey guys, Chris here from Lifeline EMS Training. Uh, we've got a couple questions in chats, email, and in comment section about the CPR Insight feature on the LifePack 35. And we wanted to talk real quick about it. A lot of people say, well, I just want to see the rhythm. Or I wish it would just tell me what the underlying rhythm is. Let's talk about the background to it. So it's been in the CR2 defibrillator for what, two years now. And so the algorithm has been available. It's been studied. And it's been in use in another device that has no visualization of the rhythm. Where does it get the rhythm interpretation from? Well, on that first cycle, it uses the shock advisory system or the SAS. So when nobody's doing CPR, there's no artifact, no motion artifact. It analyzes the underlying rhythm so that when you add artifact to it or noise, if you will, it can now wash that out in future analysis. So... It uses that same shock advisory system that the CR2 has been using with great success for years. And what are the three prompts it gives you? Well, to give you shockable. So when the rhythm's classified as S or shockable, the necessary pause time shortened to only the time needed for the rescuer to stand clear and deliver the shock. Hands off time for the ECG analysis and charging the AD are eliminated. It's done in the background like we've shown you in previous videos. Now, that delivery of that shock, you standing off, that's up to you. There are places that are appreciating the fact that the silicone cup on the Lucas and or intact nitrile gloves do not conduct electricity and they're looking to shock during compressions. The second one, non-shockable or NS. When the rhythm is classified NS, the pause for analysis can be eliminated altogether, allowing for continuous CPR, meaning it's a PEA, a systole, something that has good discernibility for the monitor, but is otherwise not responsive to electrical therapy. And then the last is no decision or ND. So occasionally it will reach a, I'm just not sure ND, which means that the rhythm is inconclusive. It will prompt the rescuer to stop chest compressions to allow for a traditional analysis using the SAS. If we're talking the CR2, or if we're talking the 35, it's the provider themselves. If it's in manual mode, if it's in analyzed mode, then again, it would function like the CR2. The one we hear regularly is, what about VTAC? Well, here's an example of VTAC. And I want you to think about some of the other things. So this is newer technology. Everybody always wants to fix on the one-offs. We get VTAC without a pulse. What do we do? Normal things, we shock it. So 200. And we got our end tidal waveform. Now let's fast forward two minutes. We do all our things. And notice our end tidal hasn't changed. So our manual or Lucas compressions have maintained an end tidal of 14. So do we think there's underlying perfusion? Two. No. So now we've got our charge up. I trust that this one is true. The end tidal hasn't changed. The system detected it as a shockable rhythm. Remember, it's going to err on the side of caution, right? Very comfortable shocking through this. So let's take the next patient. Go back, they're in CPR, we do all the things. Ventilate. And what happened to our end title over this last two minutes? Our end titles climbed. This would be one I'd take a peek at if you feel better or more comfortable about it. Okay, yep, still in VTAC, no pulse. We don't have any pulse style flow with our pulse ox. We didn't feel one. Shock, get back on the chest. So you can use end tidal as a driver for your comfort as well. And if you see that end tidal climbing over time, that would be one I would take a peek at. But at the end of the day, if the system is discerning in a shockable rhythm, really what are the two shockable rhythms, right? V-fib, pulseless VTAC. So we hope this helped with CPR Insight, maybe instilled a little bit more comfort. We're also going to put the link to the documentation on it so we can all read and educate ourselves around it. And as always, if you have any questions, hit us up at info at lifelineemstraining.com. We hope you have a great day.